very recently, you should realize that this is a ketone, whereas this is an aldehyde. So this would, one, two, three, four, this has four carbons. So it's a but, all single bonds. So it's a butene. And then this is a ketone, so it ends in own. And there's no other place this could be than on the second carbon, so you don't need to say anything else about that. This is an aldehyde, one, two, three, four, five. Five is pent. They're all single bonds between the carbons, so pentan. And then it's an aldehyde, so it's pentanal. This is a carboxylic acid. This is an alcohol. Both of these are just uh, chains with no groups in it. Though remember, this is a double bond, and at each bend is a carbon. So here's a carbon, here's a carbon, here's a carbon, here's a carbon, and here's a carbon. We went over that in class. All right, the next one I'm going, and then this is obviously just the same, but by going from name to structure. So the next one I'm going to do, um, I'll do this one. It says you have 5.9265% hydrogen and the rest is oxygen, which means um, it'll be way easier. Let's just pretend we have 100 grams. So then we can say we have um, 5.92 grams of this, and this is of hydrogen. And so then of oxygen, you have the rest of 100, which is 94.0735. So let's turn them both to moles. So one mole is 16, one mole is about 1.008. So you get 5.88 moles of hydrogen and coincidentally 5.88 moles of oxygen. So now normally you would have different numbers, in this case you don't, you divide by the smallest one, they're the same. You can divide them both by 5.88, which you will obviously get one which means your empirical formula is HO. Now it says it has a molecular mass of 34. So basically what you do is you see how many times this goes into 34. So if you add this up, it equals 17. All right, one hydrogen plus one oxygen, 16 plus one is 17. And so to see how many times that goes in, just divide the molecular mass by the mass of the empirical formula and you get two. So your molecular formula needs to be twice the size of this. So this is your empirical formula. So your molecular formula is this. All right. <clears throat> Lastly, you have four equations here. Well, four groups of product reactants. And you need to determine, based on solubility rules, if they're going to react or not. Uh, I'm going to give you one, and this one does react, because remember, chlorides are soluble except with silver, mercury, and lead. This is lead. So when these mix together, this lead is going to attach to this chloride and make an ion. So let's write the equation out. Lead to acetate, and this is aqueous. Acetates are always aqueous, plus calcium chloride, and this is aqueous because, again, generally chlorine is aqueous, is going to make lead to chloride, which we know is solid, plus calcium acetate, which we know is aqueous because acetates are always aqueous. And so it says if you have 58 grams of this and 41 grams of this, figure out how many grams of each of these you will make. Uh, so it's a stoichiometry. So 58.0 grams of our lead to acetate times in a line. We have to turn it to moles. This thing weighs 325.29 grams. So you'll get 0.1783 moles. All right, now let's do it for the calcium chloride. If you have 41.0 grams of calcium chloride, 
one mole of calcium chloride weighs about 110.984 grams. So that gives you 0.369 moles. Now again, the surefire way to make sure you're always correct is turn both of these into one of these products and see which is the smallest. But because every single coefficient here is a one, it's really simple to know that this is our limiting reactant. This we have too much of. So this we just don't even need to worry about anymore. And again, because everything's one, we have 0.1783 moles of this. So we have 0.18 0.1783 moles of this and 0.1783 moles of that. So last step, you just turn 0.1783 moles of each of these into grams of them. Um, again, we've been over that work again. I'll just give you the answer so you can check your work. This should come out to be about 49.6 grams and this should come out to be about 28.2 grams.